in the separators we have a mechanism this side of separator is with the load cell and this mechanism to produce the axially load in the studs so today we have three end condition as according to rural formula okay this is the data we required pi e i over k l e is modulus of elasticity i is movement of inertia where k is the effective length according to the end condition and l is a original length of specimen so k in pin pin k is equal to 1 while in fix fix k k effective length is 0.5 and fix pin is in k is 0.7 okay we are using second number dimension this is dimension 20 into 30 into 700 long mm all dimensions in mm okay and this is second number okay this is our load meter it tell us the critical load on each end condition first of all this is our pin pin condition okay now we put the load gradually focus on the load is constant see the buckling okay this is in pin condition pin pin condition and our load is 2.200 newton okay now release the load again pin fix so next end condition is pin fix okay this is this is pin condition and this is fix okay and load is a zero again same procedure we are putting the load actually load see the shape effective area effective length almost 0.7 of the specimen and 
our experimental load on pin fix condition is 437 okay now the last pin fix Now our both end is fixed. You can see both end is fixed now. Okay. And load is Ultimate 891 load Newton and effective length is almost 0.5 in pin pin condition. Okay, so we have our readings pin fix, fix fix, and pin pin. Okay, we have dimension of specimen. And we can find through Euler formula pi e i e is the space where is 200 giga pascal okay length 700 and i b d cube over 12 